Soy used to be controversial in th that it has estrogenic effects. But of course, the amount of estrogenic effect is so small compared to what a doctor does when he tells a postmenopausal woman to take some estrogen. It's such a tiny thing. Now, they're worried about the boys getting more like girls, their breasts getting big and things like this, but not likely to happen from soy products. It did happen when they were trying to raise chickens and they put pellets in their neck to give them a lot of estrogen to make them bigger. If somebody ate the neck of the chicken with a pellet in it, yes, he would be getting a big dose of estrogen. But we were worried about the carcinogenic effect for women who are prone for breast cancer with these estrogens give them more chance for this breast cancer. So we were telling women, take it easy on the, on the soy products. But now they've gone to Japan and China and they checked these women who did have breast cancer, had one breast removed, and then waited to see who had return of the cancer in the other breasts. And the ones who ate the tofu had the least amount of return. So since that time, we have not worried about uh, soy in re increasing breast cancer risk. So soy is a good product. It has been shown to lower blood cholesterol. Now, most beans will lower the LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. But at the same time, they lower the good cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol. But soy is different. It lowers the bad one, but it increases the good one. That's contrary to what the other beans do. So soy is an excellent product, considered a top quality food. Now, can be recommended, eat a lot of soy, it's fine. Now, soy product called tofu is excellent. And we've told a lot of people vegetarians, total vegetarians, who need calcium to use it because they usually make calcium, uh, put it with it to make the tofu. However, over in Europe, the people are using such a small amount, little strips of soy, compared to what I use at home. I get 400 grams at one time at a meal. <laughs> but they don't do that over here. It's just a little bit. So I think the amount of calcium they're getting from that source is not that much valuable. It's not too great. Uh, but I would get quite a bit through use of tofu. But tofu is a good product. Uh, now, there. Are, what about smoked tofu? Well, I advise some of those people who are making the tofu not to use the smoke, even the artificial smoke, because there is a pyroligneous acid in it which is carcin carcinogenic. Now, whether it really causes much cancer, I don't know. I've never seen any good study on that. But just because we know it is a carcinogenic agent, I would recommend people not use smoked tofu. Uh, 